Welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. Today we are testing the Quav P9 data transmission module connected to the X7 Plus flight controller. This video is divided into three main sections. What materials are needed for the connection? How to wire the connection? How to display the results? What materials are needed for the connection? Products we'll be using include the H16 remote controller, H16 receiver, P9 telemetry module for both air and ground, P9 antennas, and the X7 Plus flight controller. Cables required include the P9 data line for the X7, H16 POW Plus SBUS, Telem 1, X7 Plus power module, and two P9 telemetry module power cables. How to wire the connection? First, connect the UART port of the H16 to the Telem 1 port on the X7 Plus using the Telem 1 cable. The H16 connector is a GH1.253 pin, and the X7 Plus connector is a GH1.256 pin. Connect the power cable to the H16. Connect the data port of the P9 Air N to the Telem 2 port on the X7 Plus using the P9 data line, with both ends being GH1.256 pin connectors. Attach the antenna to the P9 telemetry module. Supply power to the X7 Plus flight controller using the power module. Supply power to the P9 air end module. The power cable connectors are XT30 male and XT60 female. Attach the antenna to the P9 ground module, then connect the power cable.
connect the P9 telemetry module to the computer using a USB cable. When the ground module displays a steady pink light and the air module displays a steady green light, the two telemetry modules are connected. How to display the results? On your computer, download the P9 driver module or the computer won't recognize the P9 port. The download link is provided below the video. Once downloaded, open the Mission Planner Ground Control Station software, set the baud rate to 57600 and click Connect. Move the flight controller, and you'll see the data in the ground station accurately reflecting the controller's movements. Open the basic setup and go to the remote control calibration page. Connect the H16's dot bus line to the RC port on the X7 Plus flight controller, and you'll see the remote control inputs immediately appear on the MP interface. Try moving the control sticks and you'll see the data on the ground station respond to your inputs in real time. Test complete. Thank you for watching. To learn more, follow the World Drone Market channel. See you in the next video.